Hello everybody and welcome back to the first outdoor airport update of Tallahassee International Airport. Uh, is this a terrible idea? Yes. Am I going to do it? Of course I am. Uh, on an old video, I think the first one of Guam, I was considering doing an outdoor airport update, of course when the weather got warm, and it is getting warmer now. Uh, actually, the day I'm recording this, uh, Sunday the 20th of March, it's supposed to get up into the 60s, so that's pretty cool. And uh, it's it's still a little bit cooler than that right now, but uh, beautiful day out. Um, I'm a TNA, and like I said in a very old video, um, they literally said that uh, this would be a terrible idea, and that they because uh, the background noise and the sun, the sun could have damaged the aircraft. But I'll show you what I'm doing to prevent that for the most part. I'm only keeping the aircraft out when I need them, but when I'm not use it, using them, they go in this hangar here. Oh, thingly with the American Airlines logo on it, and there they are inside. So I'll keep them in there. When I need to use them, I'll take them out. Uh, we'll get it back on this Delta 737-900 here with the split scimitar winglets. Uh, filling in for an 800. They don't fly the 900s to uh, Tallahassee for the most part. Uh, oh, the, the time for the update is around 8.30 on the uh, 20th of March, Sunday 20th of March of 2022 uh it's probably a bit bright out for that time but you know what the clock moved ahead an hour it's in florida it'll work oh we're actually getting a something's flying over i'll try to get that in, uh, right after this but this one came in from atlanta and it'll, uh, it'll be doing its return flight back out to atlanta tomorrow Ooh, right there delta delta 747 up there so a very interesting start to this airport update. And next up here with the uh, the fixed prop, as you can see there, this is the silver ATR-42. Finally got around to gluing that. Uh, it's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> uh, this one came in from Fort Lauderdale and we'll be heading back out there. I'm pretty sure uh, this update, like most here at Tallahassee, is only turns. So that, that's a, that gets a bit boring, but uh, it's just what it is like at these uh, small airports. Our next aircraft here is an American Eagle uh, CRJ-700 in the SkyWest house livery. Uh, this one filling in for a uh, American Eagle CRJ-900 operated by Mesa. Uh, came in from, I think I think that's more accurate uh, than using it for a, a PSA flight because uh, it's a bit more geographically correct. But this one came in from uh, Dallas DFW and uh, as you can see it's just pushing back and it'll be heading back out there. And next up here, currently getting the bags loaded up, is this beautiful American Eagle uh, E-145. It looks absolutely stunning here in this great lighting. Uh, this is the th good thing about these uh, outdoor airport updates is the lighting is a lot better. The only unfortunate thing is that uh, the sound quality is not very good. Um, this one is operated by Envoy Air, and it came in from Miami, and we'll be doing a turnaround and heading back out there. Currently getting the bags loaded up, and we'll be uh, departing soon. And we will conclude the update here with this American Eagle E-145. Uh, it's an operated by, well, the actual aircraft was a CRJ-900 operated by PSA, uh, but this one is operated by Piedmont, which is also pretty close to PSA. Correct geographically, again, I'm using that excuse as I don't have any American... Uh, CRJ 900s. Um, this one came in from Charlotte and uh, will be. It's just about to push back. You can see the gate uh, pulled back from the aircraft and the pushback tug is just about ready to push it back for uh, its, re its return flight out to Charlotte. So that'll do it for this airport update. Um, I gotta get this plane out of the sun fast or to uh, avoid as much damage as possible. <laughs> um, this is interesting to do, I guess. It's fun, but. Uh, I'll probably do it again, but I can only really do it with small airports like Tallahassee and Kalamazoo because the larger ones just can't fit on the outside. I don't really have a good place for them. I'm just putting this on a table outside, so. Uh, I just wanted to do this, though, and uh, hopefully I can do some more of these. Uh, hopefully it stays nice out and doesn't snow again in April. Like It seems like we always have a 15-inch snowstorm in April, um, but that'll do it for this update of Tallahassee International Airport, and I'll see you tomorrow, as always. Good night. Off-feeders in. Forgot to do that. Yeah, I got to add in the off-feeders in.